Hello, my name is Stephanie Lyons, and I work in the Economic Political Office at the U.S. Embassy in Vienna. I'm here to talk to you about my beautiful home state of Vermont. Vermont was settled in the 18th century by the French and the British. There were many conflicts between the two nations, but the land was given to the British after the French were defeated in the French and Indian War. Vermont declared independence from the original 13 colonies during the American Revolution, and in 1790, Vermont was admitted to the Union as the 14th state. I was born and raised in a small town called Menden, near Killington Ski Resort, which boasts the largest mountain in the eastern United States. From the summit, you can see a panoramic view of four states, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and New York, and you can even see all the way into Canada. The name Vermont comes from the French words Mont Vert, which means Green Mountains. Not surprising, since almost everywhere you look in the state, you see beautiful rolling green mountains. About 77% of the state is covered by forest, and the rest is covered by meadows, uplands, lakes, ponds, and marshes. Vermont has something for everyone with its beautiful four seasons. It offers outstanding skiing at mountains such as Killington, Stowe, Stratton, Smuggler's Notch, and Mad River Glen. In the fall, you can take a panoramic drive around the state and enjoy the world-famous reds, oranges, and yellows of fall foliage. In the summer, grab your swimsuit and dive into one of the many lakes and ponds dotting the Green Mountains. And spring is the time for hiking and camping. Vermonters love to get into the great outdoors and stay active. I guess this explains why Vermont has repeatedly been the number one healthiest state to live in. Vermont has a population of just over half a million, making it the second least populous state in the country. And in ratio of cows to people, Vermont has the greatest number of dairy cows in the U.S. Not surprising, since dairy farming is the number one agricultural activity in the state. Vermont's capital, Montpelier, is the only state capital in the U.S. without a McDonald's. And Vermont State Capitol Building is one of only a few to have a beautiful gold dome roof. Vermont is very well known for many delicious culinary treats. Perhaps the most famous is Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield co-founded this eccentric, one-of-a-kind ice cream company. Their ice cream was such a hit that it wasn't long before they began selling it to local restaurants, then grocery stores throughout Vermont, and today, all over the globe. My personal favorite, Ben & Jerry's flavor, has always been Heath Bar Crunch. Vermont is also the largest producer of maple syrup in the country. Every year, Vermont churns out over 1 million gallons of maple syrup, which accounts for 40% of the U.S.'s total production. Vermont is also home to famous Cabot Creamery, maker of first-class Cabot cheese and dairy products. Hungry yet? Vermont also produces a famously delicious microbrew beer called Long Trail Ale. The brewery's name derives from the Long Trail, a 270-mile hiking trail through the Green Mountains. Long Trail is one of Vermont's most progressive and forward-thinking breweries. 25% of Long Trail's power comes from cow power, a process through which an electric company harnesses methane from cow manure and uses a digester machine to convert it into energy. Of course, Vermont also has its share of important political figures. Two U.S. presidents were born there. Chester Allen Arthur, the 21st president of the United States, was born in Fairfield, Vermont in 1830. And Calvin Coolidge, the 30th president of the United States, was born in Plymouth in 1872 on Independence Day. You might be familiar with some other high-profile Vermonters such as Austria's Von Trapp family from the famous Sound of Music film. The Von Trapp family left Austria before its annexation by Germany in 1938. In the early 1940s, the family toured the U.S. as the Trapp family singers. They eventually settled in Stowe, Vermont on an enchanted farm with sweeping mountain views reminiscent of their beloved Austria. In the 1950s, the family opened a ski lodge in Vermont where travelers from all over the world regularly enjoy traditional Austrian food, drink, and outdoor activities. Vermont is also home to first-rate schools. Middlebury College, a private liberal arts college located in Middlebury, Vermont, was founded in 1800. 
It's considered one of the best liberal arts colleges in the U.S. and is regularly ranked in the top 10. And the University of Vermont is also a premier small public research university nationally acclaimed for excellence in liberal education, medicine, biology, and environmental studies. UVM setting in a valley on the shores of Lake Champlain make it a beautiful place to study. And speaking of Lake Champlain, did you know legend has it that Champ, Vermont's version of the Loch Ness Monster, lives in the lake? There have been numerous accounts through the years of people spotting a gigantic water serpent swimming around the lake. So, I hope that you'll have the chance to visit my home state of Vermont one day. Come to enjoy some maple syrup, a long trail beer, some skiing, hiking, and gorgeous fall foliage. Vermonters look forward to welcoming you.